Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. We are Nicole and Miku. As you probably know, for the past month, we have been on a road trip around the incredible country of Sri Lanka. We are so sad because in today's video, we are <laughs> finally rounding out the road trip and heading back to Nagumbo. It's going to be about a 150 kilometer drive, and we're going to soak in as much of Sri Lanka as we can. All right, let's get back for one last time on Wanda. drive is by far the longest we'll have done on this whole road trip. I'm pretty nervous if I'm honest. It's like 8.20 right now, we just left. We are hoping that we arrive, I think somewhere between 4 and 6 p.m. to the gumbo, I'm hoping. As long as everything goes to plan, we should be able to make like slow but steady progress. I think our biggest like restrictive factor is literally just our comfort. It's just a matter of getting out and taking enough breaks. When you're on the seat long enough with two people and I'm in backpacks, it gets a little uncomfortable. We were actually supposed to do this drive over two days. Yeah, that's what we planned. But then, but then we love being in Sigaria so much <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that we decided to just do it over one day and spend an extra day in Sigaria. Yeah, the original plan was to do it in two, you know, take our time, have lots of comfort, stop along the way for the night somewhere, I don't know where. And then we just really wanted to stay in Sigaria. <laughs> it's so beautiful out here. It's, it is like a different kind of rolling green hills than than where we were in Ella and Candy. A lot more farmers fields here, hey? Yeah, Sigaria definitely has its own charm, and uh, we just we honestly we love it there. We love the place that we stayed there. Our the guest house, the family who runs up the place is just so wonderful. They cooked us the incredible feast last night for our last night, our last big meal here in Sri Lanka. So many different kinds of curry and rice. If you guys <laughs> are interested in uh, learning more about Otuna Guest House, we'll put a link down in the description below. Yeah, and, check uh, out the pictures, give them a call. Yeah. Look there if you're headed to Sigaria, we highly, highly recommend them. So, I don't really know where we are. I think we've gone maybe 50 kilometers? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, and this place is like, honestly, I feel like we've, we've stepped into a movie. Yeah, I, we couldn't help but stop at like <laughs> this very ominous, dark looking forest. It that looks so cool. Smelled really good because well, everybody's I mean, making stuff. <laughs> it's like completely lined with like every, sh there are tons of shops. There's yeah. just like tons and tons of shops right along here. I feel like maybe we're next to a forest and we don't, we're like, like a special forest and we don't even realize. I think it's corn and coconut seems to be the uh, mm, but they sell main chai. things. So, we're here for the tea. I'm sorry. <laughs> wow. Okay, monkeys. So, <laughs> I was about to tell the camera that um, this place seems to be like a rest stop for travelers. Like, you just come, you grab a roti, have some, have some chai or some coffee. But there was a fella sitting next to us in that chair, eating what was <laughs> roti and some sauce. <laughs> And I think he went up to pay, so maybe he was done anyway. And the moment he left to see the monkey came and stole his food. Yeah. What a stinker. Look at him. I don't know if you can see that monkey eating that roadie up there. Oh, this guy's got a slingshot. Very common way of deterring monkeys here, slingshot. I feel like this is like the Sri Lankan equivalent of like a truck stop in North America. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. That's what it feels like. It's like all these little stalls set up. You just pop up. Yeah, and yeah. Have a quick stop. So I think it's like Sri Lanka truck stop. places where like everyone to me just seems to be selling the same thing and I'm just baffled by how everyone's in business still. Like that there's enough business here for all of these people to keep their shops open and run them all day every day. Oh wow! And just like that I feel like we're out of like the, the, the forest from a movie. <laughs> That's so weird. The enchanted forest. <laughs> Dinesh, he suggested that 
Yeah, once we get to this town, do you know the name of this town? Kurunagala. Uh, <laughs> that one. <laughs> he said that instead of going like through the city, you can take the lake road and kind of go around a little bit. And that hopefully there's a cafe somewhere along here that we can stop at and get coffee. We are definitely in need of a small break again and some caffeine. So I got us our coffees. This is the tricky part about leaving a country is you don't want to leave with like a lot of their currency. So we've taken out a very small amount of money to get us through to the rest of this trip. And uh, it turns out coffees were like 1,500 rupees, which has got to be the most expensive coffees we've purchased in Sri Lanka. So that leaves us with one, two, 3,200 rupees for the rest of the day and a half that we're here. <laughs> 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 Worth it. It's That's like $10. <laughs> No, oh, that's like one dinner. <laughs> we'll be fine. We'll be fine. This coffee's better be good. Oh shoot, Who's, which one did I put down? One of these was mine, one was yours. No, yours has more, less sugar than mine. So by the way, I know we haven't actually told you where we're going to next. That's because it's a secret until the end of the video. <laughs> <laughs> if you're new around here, we're full-time traveling, so it's not like we're headed back to Canada. At the end of our time here in Sri Lanka, we are headed to an extra special awesome country that we're super stoked for, but we'll tell you at the end. I know we've mentioned them before, but if you guys are in the market for a bike rent or a, like a scooter rental or a tap tap rental here in Sri Lanka, we partnered with Sri Lanka Bike Rent and rented this scooter from them. And we honestly couldn't recommend them more. They've been so, so good. You guys, if you started this series with us, you know we started with uh, a scooter Bumblebee and now we have Wanda. But we're so impressed with Sri Lanka Bike Rent, like just being really, really responsive to any issues we have and making sure that like we were completely taken care of and our road trip wasn't affected at all by any issues with the scooter. They've been so wonderful, honestly. Like they're very much like a full service shop. They did complete insurance for us. I love that this scooter has like a luggage rack and a phone holder. Uh, and I think possibly the biggest perk is that they completely organized our license, like our Sri Lanka driver's licenses for us. We just sent them the pictures and documents that they needed and they organized everything. Which, if you saw our video where we went from Hikadua to Marissa, it was a very good thing because we got pulled over by the cops and definitely needed to have our Sri Lanka driver's license. So anyways, we want to give one more big shout out to Sri Lanka Bike Rent. They really have been absolutely wonderful and we've had an awesome time on Wanda during our road trip around Sri Lanka. So far, I'm really impressed with this road, by the way. The road, like, there's a like an express highway we could have taken from Siguria to Nagumbo, but like, we would never take that on the scooter. But this road is like the, I don't know, secondary highway, kind of? Yeah. But honestly, it's really nice. It's been paved the whole way. Like, there's no traffic issues. Like, it's been really nice. And look at these views. These trees are amazing. I love okay. when they like cross over like this. Yeah. And they like create such a canopy. That's probably one of my favorite parts about driving around Sri Lanka is whenever the trees are just so pretty and they're hanging over the road. Yeah, me too. Too much food. 
much awesome food. Yeah, too much awesome food. That's so true. But I feel like road tripping it like really gives you like everything. Like you really get to experience just so much of this country if you get if you get a chance to be on a scooter or a tuk tuk or whatever you want to rent. Yeah. Yeah, I'm so glad we chose to do it this way. Well, you guys, that wraps up a month of road tripping around Sri Lanka. It's been a wonderful road trip, mm. and I really hope that um, our mission of making Sri Lanka or putting Sri Lanka on your bucket list, I hope in some part we accomplish that with this road trip. Yeah, if you've been watching the whole series, um, we would love to hear what was your favorite part? What part do you, would you love to visit one day? We love this country so much, and we hope that we inspired you to come and visit. Now, the adventure doesn't stop here, so make sure you hit subscribe because our next country is going to be a very special one. <laughs> It's gonna be the Philippines. The Philippines, uh, I'm so which excited. is where I'm from, and mm -hmm. Nicole hasn't been there yet, I so been. we're so excited. We are super excited. So we have like a day's rest, and then we are hopping on a plane, bringing you guys along for that journey as well. And uh, I think we're gonna leave you there and catch you in the Philippines. Thanks for watching. <laughs>